Adrian Grenier is best known as playing Vincent Chase in HBO's hit series Entourage, while well, now he's taking on two roles of both actor and director in the documentary Shot in the Dark that follows him on a personal journey to reconnect with his biological father. Before his success as an actor, Grenier began a personal project as a filmmaker with Shot in the Dark. Raised in New York City by his mother, Grenier grew up without ever really knowing his biological father. Just before his 23rd birthday, Grenier resolved to reconnect with his father. In filming Shot in the Dark, Grenier questions the stigma of being fatherless and the necessity of a father-son relationship. I'm so lost. So why was it so important for you to do this documentary? Well, you know, it's, it, it's important for me to, to, to keep creative and keep engaged creatively. And uh, I, I also wanted to meet my dad, so what better way to kill two birds with one stone when you only have three months in the summer by, you know, combining the, the two things. Yeah, no, I was talking to Jonathan and he was saying you guys kind of set out to how to do it and stuff and you realize it's a documentary, you got to let things happen. So what were you kind of hoping, even before you started, what were you kind of hoping it was going to happen? That's the beautiful thing about documentary filmmaking is you can plan and plan and plan, but ultimately life will trump any plans you have. And... Uh, you know, I had, I had general themes that I wanted to explore. I knew I wanted to go to Yankee Stadium. I knew I wanted to talk to people and interview them and sort of get uh, something to con con contrast the movie with people's interviews about what they think father is to them. And I also wanted to explore my mom and my dad's romance. Um, I wanted to e explore um, my dad through his relatives first and then before I actually met him, just to get a sense of him before I actually met him, you know, things like that. Yeah, and has your relationship, obviously I'm sure it's changed, but it's like, how has it, how has it changed with you guys? Have you noticed that you relate to your parents differently now and appreciate where they, their faults and their, their gifts and stuff? Yeah, well, you know, now as an adult, like I, you know, I, I learned to relate to them as an adult, you know, which is, I think, one thing that really, this movie really helped me come into uh, adulthood. And, um, you know, the rite of passage that I had where my dad was supposed to sort of send me off into the world as a man never happened, but it did later in life through this movie. I just talked to Adrian and he said that you're pretty much one of the main reasons why you guys kept going. He really helped, you really helped him out in it, so he said. Well, you know, he documented his search for his biological father and I think initially when he had all these, he had 100 hours of footage when he came back from the road trip and he gave it to me. He didn't really know what to make of it because it was, you know, it was his own life photographed and I think he wanted us, uh, an objective eye. I related to the story, um, I think it's like a universal story and I, I, I think that he gave me the freedom to, you know, take the time to work on it. We didn't work on it with any kind of specific deadline. It took us a couple of years off and on to really find the story. And, uh, and then eventually he came in and he saw what the, what the story that I was finding in it. And then he added, you know, he weighed in. And it was, a really, it was a really good collaboration. Make sure you check out Shot in the Dark premiering on Father's Day after the season finale of Entourage. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Margie Blash. We'll see you next time.